quick video, if you will, on canteens, water bottles, and touching on pots. And pots is going to be a series that I'm going to get into, and this is not saying that you have to use these things. These are just what most people I know use. Uh, they're available. They're relatively cheap. Uh, there's no uh, peak or anything like that here. Just good old military surplus, MSR, and some other stuff. I'm going to tell you what you need to look for and to what you need to avoid. Okay, now we're going to start with a water bottle that you've seen me use a hundred times. It's this one. Stainless steel construction. And you want to look and make sure that there's not a seam. Okay, if you see a seam, it's a weak point. And that way, when you put it in the fire to, say, boil water, make soup, whatever, make medicines, the seam will basically crack. It's like a, it's a weak point. So you want a no seam metal stainless steel water bottle. This is an Enviro, Enviro bottle. I think I picked it up at the dollar store or something. Um, wide mouth. I painted it black when I got it because it takes a black pot or a black container one third less fuel to boil water. That's just simple physics. Uh, what you can do if you don't want to paint it, you just let it char over time and don't wash it off. Now, most people will be familiar with the GI Canteen. Uh, this is a antique one. You can probably score these for about 20 bucks at gun shows. But, one we'll talk about. One is the outside liner. A lot of people don't know this, but it has two purposes. One, obviously, is to keep your drink cold in hot climates, and in, uh, or to keep it hot in cold climates. And the way you cool it off in the um, hot climates is you wet this cover. You just wet it down, put it in a stream, whatever, and evaporative cooling will cool your water. Now, in these canteens, this is 1940, take it back, 1956 is when this canteen was made. Oh, y'all should just love that noise. But, as you can see, even the chain for the lid is uh, metal. And you can just pop these right into the fire. Even though it does have a seam, I've never seen one break. Not saying that it can't, but I've never seen one. And inside, we have the um, GI cup and if you look this uh, those of you who don't know you it has a tab you pull up and you just drop it down and it locks this handle in place okay so now you can cook with it if you have a plastic canteen get the cup because that way you can always boil water in it and this is the new version of the um, GI canteen stove. It works better with on a on sand, works better in areas like that. This actually works great next to a river or something. And then you just take your stand, put it down like this. Right here is where you feed your fire. You have air holes on the back. And just put your cup on top for water. You can even set it to where it almost matches it. Okay, as you can see, well used gear, well loved gear, and when you put it on, it's made for that to go right underneath there. Okay, so that's your GI cook kit basically. And this right here just folds up, canteen goes in this, all in one simple package. Now, you'll notice when it comes to military gear that it's well made that's one thing I love about military surplus is it stood the test of time and what didn't work you can't buy anymore you know they didn't handle with the bullshit they stayed with it now to break it up this is a plastic canteen and the thing when, when they went to plastic this is why I believe why even though you cannot put this in the fire at all but you can take this and put it against your body to warm it up 
you can you know place it against your your core to warm it up and it's not like you're sticking you know cold metal to you now they did shrink okay to show you the difference and while you want to buy US canteens is and this is not a US canteen I think this is Swedish it's a Swedish officers canteen but look the size difference and plus the quality the stupid handle broke off this piece of shit a long time ago but Look at that. You see the difference? You see the quality? You see how you can't bend this? But this, you can. I can feel it flexing just doing that. But you see where it breaks right here? Okay. And the small, I mean the small. It's so small compared to the other one. Nowhere close. So... That's what you got to think about. Okay. My power's getting ready to go out, so hopefully we'll get this done. Just touching on pots, what I'm going to show you, while you should buy GI gear, this is MSR. Available at your local Walmart. Look at that. Okay, now this kit right here, you could probably buy five to six military surplus pots, you know, for what the price this kit right here cost. Now, is it nice? Yes, it's light. Yes. Would it get beat all to hell? Yes. So, that's something to consider. And it just, as you go down, it doesn't get much better. You would think that it would. Now these, I mean, I still use these. These are still ones that, you know, I can use. But, if you want to buy quality, you don't buy, well, maybe this one. No. You know, you want to be careful about because if you're going to spend your hard-earned money, you know, buy quality is what i got to say about that. So I'm going to let you go before my power goes out and I lose everything. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Uh, I'll get back to you. I'm going to do in-depth. I'm going to show you how long it takes to boil water in each device. But get outside, and I love you.